Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, factorizing quadratic expressions or factoring uh, quadratic expressions. Uh, in this particular case, we're looking for uh, situations where the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1 or less than 0. And we shall be uh, using discriminants in trying to solve this problem. And it is suitable for uh, IGCSE, UCSE mathematics, and then for 10th grade and 11th grade uh, maths. Now, there are seven examples uh, in this uh, exercise, and you are not likely to meet anything more difficult than what I've put down here in the exam. Now, for some people, this might be a bit uh, long-winded, but that's okay. Um, but for others, it might be of some help, I hope. Right. Now, these are the uh, expressions we shall be going through, and hopefully you find them useful. And for next slide. Well, okay, for slide two, and as I said earlier, we shall uh, rely, um, for our test, uh, rely heavily on the discriminant uh, expression. Uh, the discriminant has the expression b squared minus 4ac, where b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x squared and c is our constant. So usually when b squared minus 4ac, when this value is greater than or equal to zero, it means that the expression from which these values come from can be factorized. On the other hand, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, it means that the expression from which the values come from uh, cannot be factorized. they got no solution. Okay, moving on. So, that's the first expression. And applying the discriminant test, we see that something wrong there. Uh, we see that that is positive. So that can be factorized because we've got two negative values there. So that can be factorized. Okay, moving on. And the next one, similar test again. Uh, again, that will give us a positive positive result. We don't need to calculate that at all. We've got two negatives there. So you've got to give positive value there. Um, for the next expression, now this time around, uh, A is minus 1 and B is also minus 1. And we end up with this for our test. And again, that uh, can be factorized because that gives us a positive value. For the next expression, we've got that uh, the uh, coefficient of x squared is minus 1. And again, applying, di applying the discriminant test, we have that the b squared minus 4ac gives us a negative value. If you test minus 4 times minus 1, give us plus 4. Plus 4 times minus 6, give us minus 24. 1 minus 24, give us minus 23. So this expression has got no solution. It cannot be factorized. And the next one, now we've got to be very careful here because the coefficient of x squared is 5, as you would expect but the coefficient of x is minus 7y and our constant value is 6y squared. Okay, right. Now, applying the test again, we find that this can be factorized. The, the for now y squared comes from squaring 7y and it does not matter what value y takes, we will always have a positive result here. Okay, because y is r squared. So, this expression can be factorized. Moving on. Now, this is the proverbial difference of two squares. And that should be familiar to anybody doing uh, IGCSE or GCSE higher tier. And for anybody, anybody in the 10th and 11th grade math. Now, you can't apply the discriminant test because in this case, your b value is 0. Yes? Well, why don't you do that? Try, try the discriminant test and see what you get. Anyway, that's factorizable. 
Now for the last one, now in this case, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, we, we have our two-stage uh, factorization here. <coughs> Sorry, I do beg your pardon. Uh, we've got a two-stage factorization here because 4 is a factor for each of the terms in this expression. So what we now have is this here. Now, for s squared, um, s squared minus 6 is plus 9. Now, b squared is 36, because minus 6 squared is 36. Minus 4ac, uh, a is 1 in this instance. Now, minus 4 times 9 will give us minus 36. 36 minus 36 will give us 0. So, this expression, we just bounce off the x-axis. It's got only one root or one zero, as some people call it. Now, moving on to the actual factorization itself. Now, for the first expression, we've got this here. I want to put values in this bracket here. Now, to do that, we need to find the factor pairs of 21 and of minus 8. So the factor pairs of 21 will give us uh, 7 and 3 or 1 and 21. We need to be realistic here because that's not going to work. Now what we want to do, and the factor pairs of minus 8 are 4 and minus 2 and minus 4 and 2. We need to combine these factor pairs such that we get a result of 2 there. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Now, for 21, we've got 7 and 3, which is there. So if we try the 4 and minus 2 first there, and if we cross multiply, 3 times 4 is 12, 7 times minus 2 is minus 14. So minus 14 plus 12 will give us minus 2, but we require plus 2. So that won't work. That combination will not work. So why don't you try um, 7, 3 and then minus 4. So cross multiply again. 7 times 2 is 14. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. 14 minus 12 will give us 2. So that will work in this instance there. So for this bracket in there, we now have um, 7x minus 4 multiplied by 3x plus 2. And this will be the factors for this expression there. Now for the next one, we've got 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Now the factor pair of 2 or the yeah, the factor pair of 2 is uh, 2 and 1. Okay. And the factor pair for minus 2 would be um, minus 2 and 1 or 2 and minus 1. Again, as before, if we put this 2 and 1 there and then try minus 2 and 1 first. So you've got 2 and 1 from uh, plus 2 there and minus 2 and 1 from minus 2 there. Okay? And cross multiply, we have that 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. 2 minus 2 will give us 0. So that's no good. So we'll try this one here cross multiply 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 1 times 1 is 1 1 minus 4 will give us minus 3 so that's going to work there so now our factors will then be 2x plus 1 into x minus 2 so we're doing 2x plus 1 there multiplied by x minus 2 there that's what you got there now for the third one and this is the one with the um, with seven y as uh, a coefficient of, of of x. So again, the factor pair of five. Uh, the factor pair is five and one, and the factor pair for minus six y squared will be either three uh, y and minus two y or minus three y and two y, or it could be one and uh, minus 6y. And then we, again, we need to be realistic here. It's not going to work. So, as before, if we then put 5 and 1 in one column, 
and then minus 3 and minus 2 are in one column and then cross multiply we have that 5 times minus 2 will give us minus 10y and 1 times minus 3y will give us uh, 3y so minus 10y plus 3y will give us minus xy so that actually works for this one here so now our factors would then be uh, 5x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2y and that's what we got there okay now for the next one and um, this time round we know that from here we have only one root or one zero so it's going to bounce off the x-axis so this this means that this is going to be x minus 3 because we have only one root there okay so x minus 3 all squared will give us this value here and this is our factorization for this expression there right for the last one again difference of two squares uh, we got um, 9 minus 25 x squared and that's the same as saying 3 squared because 3 squared is 9 minus 5x because 5x all squared is the same as 25x squared and from difference of 2 squared we don't have to do the uh, discriminant test but it can't if we want to we have 3 minus x so 3 minus 5x multiplied by 3 plus 5x x plus a minus b into x a plus b as it were and i hope all that made some sense and please pause the video and go back again and check Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye bye now.